Let's look at some of the recording modes in Jam Pro. It's different recording modes and you get at them from this mode screen here. Recording mode and sampling mode are the two main ones. Sampling mode you could think of as being recording in and recording mode recording out, useful for mix down, stems and for resampling loops within the app, which we'll come to at the end of this demo. There's where you switch between stems and stereo. And in the max bars field, you set the length of the recording. Normally that's manual, which can be as long as you want, but sometimes you might want to set it to a certain number of bars. The pre-roll is how long it takes before it drops into recording bars when you hit the record. I set that to two. Sometimes you might want to turn the effect off on your recording. Now over here on the include channels field, you can select which channels get included in your recording. Typically, if you're doing a stereo mix down, you want that set to master, but for resampling, it's useful to be able to pick specific channels to record. Okay, two by counting and we're in. Bring some beat. Now we'll mess around for a few bars and then see what we've got. Excuse me whilst I just jam on for a second. Okay, that's probably enough. I hit record again. It stops recording at the end of the next bar. Jamwells records in and out bar safe. Here we are on the export recording page. When I click save to, we get the Apple share dialog and I can airdrop it to another computer. I can save it to Dropbox. I can email it in which it'll compress it. And there are various other options like audio share and SoundCloud and load recording to clip, which is used for loops for resampling later on. But typically with a mix down, you'll use the Apple save to put it somewhere. Let's delete that now. Now we're going to go and do some stem recording. So we go back to the mode page, change the output to stems. Let's have a zero pre-roll this time, so we'll go straight in. Here comes the music. And now we're in record. So with stem recording, all your channels, that's channels one to four, and the stabs channel, and your sub bass channel and a stereo mix will all be recorded as separate stems. And remember in Jam, each channel has its own delay, reverb, filter, etc. as inserts, so they're recorded into the stems. Press record again to stop it. And now the export stems option shows that we've got different options there. We can zip them and then again we can save them, move them over to another computer or put them up on Dropbox. And there's a special option, Ableton Live Set Export, and that rather neatly zips them all up. Then you move that over to Dropbox or your main machine. And then that unzipped will load straight into Ableton with all the stems coming up as Ableton channels, which is pretty handy. Now we're going to look at the um, resampling mode. So for this, you'd set the number of bars that you want to record to something sensible. So we get some exact loops, let's say four. This time we're going to just record the stabs. So this is an example where you want to do an internal recording. We're going to play something on the stabs and then record it into another clip. So here we go. Get ready to go into record. I'm primed and ready to go over my stabs on the right. Now I'm playing a stab pattern. I'm getting ready to drop out. Here we come into four and the app drops out on four bars because we set four bars and the message tap any clip to load in that recording. So now see the red arrow at the bottom pointing upwards indicating that you should tap one of the slots to load in. Tap the last clip in the beats channel and that's loaded in what we've just recorded. There you can see it. That was what we recorded from the stabs. We resampled it from the stabs. Let's give it a new name and um, when you rename things in Jam if you're playing along you might get a bit of a little glitch like that because PD's working hard in the background to interrupt it. But there you are. There's our new map beat. So this is a great way that you can play in your own drum patterns or indeed anything. Let's try it with a different track now. Let's say that we're going to record something from the beats channel. Okay, now we drop into record two, three. Again, you've got your red arrow at the bottom indicating that it wants you to load that recording into a slot. I've loaded it into the second to last slot on the Beats channel. And there, 
that is what I played on the Beats channel, resampled in as an exact loop. We call that resampling, and you can imagine that if you evoke this one, you could use this to build up tracks and layer your voice, and then take a clip, and then add another layer to it using the same technique. This time we'll do something with the beats and the bass. So we've got two include channels, the beats and the bass. Again, our red arrow tells us we can load in that recording. And we've loaded it into clip six on the beats channel now. See, just one clip is playing, but it's the one that we've mixed down from the beats and the bass. Let's see what we can do with just this uh, synth loop. So I've selected just that, the synth track now, to be included in the recording. Into record. Turning some effects on there. A bit of distortion there. Again, our red arrow tells us we've got a clip ready to load. And um, with this time we've loaded that into this first stab clip. So you can also record into stabs. So there you are, there are three modes of sampling in Jam. And we'll go for the file menu. And let's say we're gonna save our set with those new samples. So that when we next load it up, our funky new samples that we've recorded are there. Thank you.